Hello and welcome back children to my English channel and uh, we were doing message writing. I wish you are all fine and safe in your house. So children what topic we were doing in writing session we were doing message writing. I told you there are two type of writing um, are there. One is short composition and the other is long composition so message writing short composition is of 50 words and long composition is of uh, children 125 to 150 words so message writing is a, a long composition uh, sorry short composition it is written in about 50 words only so the purpose of writing a message is to give information or news to a person who is not present so what is the purpose of writing the message to give the information or news uh, to a person who is uh, not present this is usually written on the basis of conversation between two or more people in the examination children you will be given telephonic conversation and on the basis of this telephonic conversation you have to write the message usually, usually this is a telephonic conversation but not necessarily okay so now children I would like to say tell you what is a message so first of all a message is a piece of information news or a request for someone message can be two messages are of two type one is verbal okay like verbal message which we give like in the school and sometimes written message written message also come from the school okay telephonic is the quickest way of sending verbal messages so tell children uh, telephonic or cell phone I and mean your android phone they are the quickest method way of sending verbal messages but sometimes the person for whom the message is meant is not at hand and someone else has to receive it the receiver may also have to leave the place after some time so he or she writes the message briefly but clearly and compact, compactly for the person for, for whom it is meant. Now children, what is a characteristic of good masses? When we write masses writing, first of all we see uh, who has rang up or who is saying, sending the message and who, who did the caller ask her that means for whom the message is being sent or what did the caller ask for what the caller really wanted from you which type of message he wanted to be give you like when to meet or when to come when he is expecting someone to come or go where to go where to wait or what to bring so these are some of the common messages or whom to contact okay so children an important guideline for the messages a message is always having a particular format okay the date and time is mentioned in that particular format and uh, children you have to mention recipient you have to give the brief salutation that who is uh, for whom the message is sent so salutation and signatory should be there in message writing then children we should not more write message in not more than 50 words 50 words should be there if you will write less then also your marks will cut and if you will write more then also your marks will be cut so include only the important points now i will write the format of a message writing so what is the format You have to draw a box. In the center you will write message. Then date. Time. Message in 50 words. Of course you cannot forget salutation. Okay, so this is the format. 
government of your mass society. You have to draw a rectangular box, student. You have to leave one line, first line. You have to write messages in the center. You have to write date. You have to write time. And then children, after writing the date, how, and how you will write the date, that also I will be telling you. Like, uh, like uh, suppose if you have to write 18 um, June. Okay. So you will write 18 June small comma 2021. So in this way, children, you are going to write the date. Okay. Now, time is very important. You have to choose according to the atmosphere. You have to choose according to the need of an hour. Okay. Then salutation, you have to write the name of that person uh, who was, uh, who is really supposed to get the real message. Okay. You, that means who is the person who was not present at the time of the message. And children... So, children, uh, in salutation, you will write the name of the person who received the message. And message you have to write in a th third form in indirect speech in 50 words. And here, children, you have to write signatory. In signatory, you have to see one thing. You have to write the name of the person who is, uh, children, um, who is giving the um, message. Okay, so salutation, the receiver of the message and signatory the person who gives the message or who leaves the message uh, for that person who is not present at the time of message writing. So this you have to see. Now children, I am going to read one telephonic conversation and see how it is done. Okay. So listen the question carefully. Read the following telephonic conversation between Varun and Varsha. So two people are there. One is Varun and the other is Varsha. Now children, after speaking to Varun, she write a message for her father. So once again, I read, read the following telephonic conversation between Varun and Varsha. After speaking to Varun, she write a message for her father. Write the message in not more than 50 words. Put the message in a box. Now, children, first of all, what is a telephonic conversation? So, uh, generally, uh, children, first of all, in telephonic conversation, only two persons will be involved. So, here, who are the two persons who are speaking on a phone with each other? So, it is Varun and it is Varsha. So, these two are the person who are, uh, children, having telephonic conversation. And children, when we write telephonic conversation, you have to see two things. Like after writing Varun, you have to put colon. Colon is two dot. Okay. One above the other. This is a colon. This is a colon. So, and you have to, in after writing colon, you have to write the dialogues of Varun. So, Varun, hello, is it two, three, five, eight, five, zero, six, nine? Varsha, yes it is. May I know who is calling Varun? I am Varun Jan from Bhopal. Could I speak to Mr. Arun Jan, my brother-in-law? Varsha, good morning uncle. I am Varsha. I am sorry, daddy is not at home. In fact, he left for morning walk barely five minutes ago and may not return for an hour or so. So children, Varsha is a daughter of Mr. Arunjan and Varun is a brother of Mr. Arunjan. Okay. So children, here three persons are there. Mr. Arun for whom the message has come, who wanted to give the message. It was Mr. Varun who is a brother of Mr. Arun. And Varsha is a daughter of Mr. Arun. She received, she had a telephonic conversation with her uncle Mr. Varun. So Mr. Varun is telling, hello, is it this number? Varsha is telling, yes, it is. May I know who is calling? Varun. I am Varun Jain from Bhopal. Could I speak to Mr. Arun Jain, my brother-in-law, Varsha? Good morning, uncle. I am Varsha. I am sorry, daddy is not at home. In fact, he left for morning walk barely five minutes ago and may not return for an hour. Varun. Well, I had an important message to, uh, well, I had an important message to convey to him. Could you please convey it, Varsha? Of course, Uncle. I am going to school, but I will I will leave a message for him, Varun. Tell him that the deal for sale of land has been finalized. 
so what was this is the real mass of cylinder in the question you have to see which line is the most important line and which line from which line we have to give the masses for so from this line you have to give the masses tell him that the deal for sale of land has been finalized he must come to bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money tell him that the deal for sale of land has been finalized he must come to bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money varsha i will do that thank you for calling now children here you have to see there are three people are there varun is mr varun mr varun whose brother in law is mr arun okay and he wanted to give masses to mr varun mr arun who is not there when he want to give the masses he has he has gone for morning walk and children on his behalf his daughter varsha she pick up the phone of mr arun and she talks to her uncle now he she tell i want to talk to your father varsha tell he has gone for morning walk and so he told varsha that he would like to send a message could you to please convey her him varsha told yes as i am leaving for school this is also important point as she was leaving for school because from here you have to write the time the school is always in the morning you cannot write pm you only have to write am so this is also important so varsha told i am leaving for school but i will write a message for him now mr varun he speaks tell him that the deal for sale of land has been finalized he must come to bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money okay i will do that thank you for calling all right uh, so children now message writing we are the important line are is that varsha is leaving for school so time children we know is morning time so you have to write the time in am then you know children for whom the message has come so the message has come for varsha father okay so in uh, salutation you have to write the name of varsha's father mr haru then after writing the message children okay you have to see who is the signatory who is supposed to give the message so it is varsha and who has sent the message varun mr varun so that is the main message okay so that you have to write so what you will do children as per the um, children format this is a format of the message date and time salutation message in 50 words and then signature so now you have to write the message according to the format so what is a format children first you have to line a you have to draw a rectangular then you have to write message and then time no to the date is suppose you have any date you can write um you can write any date Okay, you can write here nine September two zero two one. What is the date? You can write it here in this manner. Then, since she has to go to school, so you can write six uh, thirty a.m. Okay. So, and then now you will start your message. Um, now, salutation. It is her father, so you can write here, Daddy. okay in salutation and then you will say uncle varun call from bhopal uncle varun call from for the first time children what you have to write you have to write the name of the person who has giving the message the initial right uh, 
line of the mason should be this only. Uncle Varun called for Bipal to say that that the sale of the land the sale of the land has been finalized has been finalized you must go to Bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money. Okay, so what message you have right? Uncle Varun called from Bhopal to say that the sale of the land has been finalized. You must go to Bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money. Okay, now, um, children, in now who is writing the masses? So it is Varsha who is writing the masses. So in secondary, what you will write? I will write it here, Varsha. This you will write it here. Okay, so now, uh, children, I know, uh, children, you know that. Here, Uncle Varun called from Bhopal to say that the sale of the land has been finalized. You must go to Bhopal on 23rd morning to sign it and get the money. Okay. So, children, you can see how I have written the message. Okay. Uh, always remember, children, in the salutation, you will write the name of those, that person for whom the message has, uh, has to be given. And say, here you have to write the name of the person for whom the message has come. Okay, that means uh, who is going to write the message. So this you have to see. Alright. And then you have to write the format. According to the format, you will be uh, writing your message. Okay. Children, children we will do, do one more message writing and I will be reading the question for you. You have to hear carefully and then first we will discuss and then again we will write the message. So, read the following telephonic conversation. Now, children, again, there is a telephonic conversation between Rohit and Anju, a friend of his sister, Pooja. Since he was going out immediately and afterwards, he left a message for Pooja. So, children, there is a telephonic conversation between Rohit and Anju, a friend of his sister, Pooja. Since he was going out immediately after what he left a message for Pooja, read the conversation and write out the message in not more than 50 words. Put the message in a box. So, children, now I am going to read the telephonic conversation between Anju and Pooja. I'm sorry, Rohit. Now, Anju is speaking to Rohit. She is telling, An Hello. Is it 21907234 Rohit? Yes, it is. I am Rohit. May I know who is calling? Anju. I am Anju, Pooja's friend. Could I please talk to her? Rohit. Sorry, Anju. Pooja has just left for the temple with mother and will be there for will be there for half an hour or so. Anju. Well, I had to tell her something important and urgent. Rohit. In case it is not something personal and confidential. You may tell me. I am her elder brother. I will pass on your, your message to her. Anju. Oh, not at all. Tell her that I have completed the project. I will bring the material to your house at about 9 and then proceed to school. Ask her to wait for me. Daddy will drop us at school. Rohit. I am leaving for the gym shortly, but I will convey your message to her 
in writing anything else anju no thanks by rohit you are welcome now children uh, once again i will read the message but before reading i want to tell you few things children here two friends are there anju and pooja is there okay anju rings to pooja and she wanted to say some message to she wanted to give to pooja so she rings to pooja but pooja has left for the temple leaving her mobile phone at her home and on behalf of pooja it is uh, her elder brother rohit who received the message okay so what rohit is telling rohit is telling anju i am anju pooja's friend could i please talk to her rohit told sorry anju is not here at home she has left for the temple uh, with her mother uh, anju say i want to tell her something important and urgent and rohit is telling back that if it is not personal if it is not confidential you can tell to me i will pass your message to her i am her elder brother anju she tells okay children she tells him i have completed the project i will bring the material to your house at about 9 and then proceed to school ask her to wait for me daddy will drop us at school do here i am leaving for jeep but i will write a, i will convey your message to her in writing anything else anju said no thank you bye so children this is the uh, this is the full uh, scenario now once again i read the question and then you can pick up the lines which are very important and you also see who must be the signatory who must be the uh, say who must be the person who is doing the salutation um, in the name of the salutation for to whom you will write in place of salute salutation so once again i read the question read the following telephonic conversation between rohit and anju a friend of his sister pooja since he was going out immediately afterwards he left a message for pooja read the conversation and write out the message in not more than 50 words put the message in a box so children anju is telling hello is it 21907234 rohit yes it is i am rohit uh, may i know who is calling anju i am anju pooja's friend could i please talk to her sorry anju um, pooja has just left for the temple with mom and will be there for half an hour or so anju well i had to tell her something important and urgent rohit in case it is not something personal and confidential you may tell me i am her elder brother i will pass on your message to her anju oh not at all tell her that i have completed the project i will bring the material to your house at about 9 and then proceed to school ask her to wait for me daddy will drop me us at school i am leaving for the gym shortly uh, but i will convey your message to her in writing anything else no thanks bye you are welcome okay so student now i am going to write the message now i am going to write the message so children now i am going to write the message okay all right yes so children first of all what you will write here you will write here message okay and children you will write the date here what is the any date you will write zero
what time you will draw it children he is going for gym his brother so it can be other morning or evening so you can write and it was morning time because children she told that i will be coming for the we will be going to the school from your house so definitely it is the morning time so here what you will write you can write okay so you have to draw the line write message in the center with a capital letter date you can write like this time you will write and then children you will write who is the person who is supposed to get the message so it it is pooja who is supposed to get the message so here you will write pooja okay so salutation is pooja then now you will start your message with who called first of all who called and why so your friend anju called to inform now you will write your message your friend anju called to inform your friend anju called to inform that she had completed the project that she had completed the project and would bring the material the material to our house at 9 am she has asked you to wait for her she had asked you to wait for her her father would drop you both her father would drop you to the school here you will write row head and close the box okay so you can see children uh, okay once again i read if to draw the box you have to write the message in the center write the date the date the way you will write the date in the letter then you have to write 7 am pooja your friend anju called to inform that she had completed the project and would bring the material to our house at 9 am she had asked you to wait for her her father would drop you to the school and children here signatory is rohit signatory is rohit okay so you children you can see in message writing children uh, we have to write the message in the center children especially i told i'm telling you and i will be telling you again and again you have to see the date like here she told her friend told that uh, she will come to her house to give the project and then we will go to school so children it is understood that the time she must have given the message to rohit is the morning time okay that's why i have written here 7 am all right generally at 7 Uh, to uh, school timing for children is generally seven thirty to seven forty. Okay, so you have to see all this. Thing. Now, uh, children, read the following telephonic one more. I will read verbally with you. Read the uh, following telephonic conversation between Rohit and Varun, a friend of his younger brother Mohit. Since Rohit was going out immediately afterward, 
he left a message for his brother read the conversation and write out the message in not more than 50 words put the message in a box so let's see what is the conversation between um, varun and rohit hello this is varun speaking could i speak to mohit uh, rohit i am afraid he is not at home mr varun varun when is he likely to come back rohit in about an hour or so could i give him your message varun yes please could you tell him that i won't be able to make it today i was supposed to come at 5 pm today however i can come at 6 pm tomorrow if that is inconvenient he should call me at home after 8 at night today to fix and that time will you please see that he gets the message rohit okay i will so children here you, again you have to draw a box you have to write the message in the center then you have to write date okay and then draw time here you can write 4 4:50 pm and then what you will write in the salutation you will write in the salutation mohit your friend varun called to say he won't be able to come at 5 pm today but he could make it at 6 pm tomorrow if tomorrow is inconvenient to you call him tonight after 8 at his house and fix another time rohit okay so children this is there and um, you can see student right you can see here that uh, varun children he uh, rohit gets the message by rohit and you can see you have to see children what timing should be there and what um, children who who is the person whose name will be written in the salutation that means for who is the person for whom the message will be sent then signatory who is the person who is going to give you the message so this all you have to see okay and of course children you will start your message writing like your friend has rang to say in such a way you will write your message so children uh, with this uh, i conclude my meeting here thank you and have a nice day ahead goodbye